Hi, today we are going to use AI functions in uh, Power Query uh, window and uh, we have already selected summary column in from our data set UFO sightings and if you look at the right side there is uh, those options are available. We are going to use uh, text analytics uh, today and uh, once we uh, click on text analytics you have a couple of options. So let us try to go ahead and uh, click that. Once we click that like I said, uh, there are many options. There are three options you're going to get. You can detect the language, you can extract key phrases, and also you can use core sentiment. For now, uh, today we'll try to use core sentiment. Um, and once you we select that, and again, it, it depends on the uh, capacity, what you're using for AI insights. I'm using default here. Um, so once uh, based on your company and your uh, license, uh, these options will change. And uh, once we select the summary, uh, that, that has a lot of sentences. So I thought I can use summary column and uh, click OK. Once we click OK, it will take a few minutes. Maybe in my case, it took about five minutes uh, for the processing to be done. Particular uh, applied steps up, uh, show up on the right hand side. And uh, also um, in, on the left hand side, that's a function which is created uh, score sentiment. And once this is processed, like I said, it takes about three or four minutes. Once we do that, we have a column appearing in our um, data set. Uh, and uh, this is a, um, as you can see, it's uh, not a numeric column. You have to change that into a numeric column, maybe a decimal in our case. Once we do that and go to table view, uh, whatever um, applied steps uh, happened in Power Query window will show up in the Power BI desktop. As you can see, uh, that's a, a column which uh, uh, was created. And uh, once that column is there, we'll try to maybe use that column values and create a additional uh, column. We can just click on, we are already there in column tools. Let us try to uh, click on new column. Uh, switch true, it's a very simple thing. If the score sentiment is greater than 0.67, it is positive, 0.33 neutral, and otherwise it's negative. So that way we have a uh, uh, sentiment type column. As you can see on the right, it has uh, all those three options which we have created. So this is one step which you need to do in case if you want to count uh, the sentiment, right? Because these are decimal numbers, score sentiment, so it's always a good idea for us to have some kind of uh, string so that we can play around with it. So once we have that, uh, we have that column, as I said, uh, sentiment type and uh, we have three types positive neutral and uh, negative so this is one step which you need to do in case if you want to count uh, the sentiment right 